Hi everyone, happy new year. Happy 2019. Holy cow. I mean, 2018 flew by. I, I can't even believe it. I can't believe it's 2019 already. Uh, hopefully, 2019 will be good to all of you and I hope it will be, blah, I hope it will be good to me. Um, I was off today um, and I decided to take a quick run out to the Salvation Army for Half Price Wednesday. Um, and I also stopped back by uh, Fuller Flea Market. Um, that's where I found that awesome mid-century modern uh, Lazy Susan chip dip um, set. So I did go in there and did um, buy a few things. So um, we'll also go through those. Um, I also stopped in Hobby Lobby. I love Hobby Lobby, but I have to really stay out of there because I can get into some serious trouble in that store. But I did have a gift card. So that's why I went in there today. And I did do a little bit of cleaning up on the uh, Christmas stuff. Um, not a whole lot, but I got some really great deals. So I thought I would share those with you too. Okay, so I guess, you know what, let's do Hobby Lobby first and get that out of the way. So um, let me pull this bag over. And I don't know if my receipt is in the bag or not, but all the Christmas stuff was 90% off. So, let's start with florals. I got three of these beautiful poinsettias. And they're the really long stemmed ones. And um, they were regularly, let me see, $8. So, I got them for, what did I get them for? A dollar? I mean, 90% off like that is crazy. Crazy. So I grabbed these three, and I, I have a um one of those jugs. Um, I forgot that what they call them, but um so next Christmas I can put these in the jug. All right. Then I grabbed this beautiful bouquet of uh, poinsettias and these were regularly where's oh there it is the tickets like stuck in between all of the leaves and here it is holy moly these were regular $9.99 so I got them for a dollar like you cannot beat that I was like ecstatic um you know what, I really want to get my receipt because I want to make sure that I give you guys the correct prices. So hold on and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Got my receipt. So, um, yes, so the, the bouquet of poinsettias I got for $1. And the ones that were $7.99 I got for for where is it I can't find it huh I wonder if maybe she didn't uh, charge me for it oh well whatever um oh actually I'm sorry the large poinsettias they were $7.99 each I got them for 80 cents a piece that's what the 240 was over here 80 cents a piece all right, moving on. I got this. I thought this was really pretty as well. Um, <laughs> the little squirrel with pine cones. Very cute. This was regular $9.99. I got it for a dollar. Um, I picked up six of these... Um, picks and these were regular $159 a piece so I got these for 
uh, 16 cents each. 16 cents each, and I got six. Um, then I, they had these really cute bows, and I love these. These are really, really cute. I love the, the ribbon. And uh, these were regularly $4.99, and I got them for uh, 50 cents. 50 cents. And these were regular $3.99, and I got those for 40 cents. So, that's awesome. Um, and then I like, you know, my farmhouse. Um, Christmas decorations. So they had these. These are really cute with the jute and the buttons. Sorry about the glare. <laughs> um, and these were regular $11.99 for four ornaments. But I paid $1.20. $1.20 and I got two of these. Um, I also picked up, I, I wanted more, but this was the only one I can find. I bought a box of uh, multicolored net lights for my bushes out front. So I got this box for a dollar. It was regular $9.99. Darn it. They had more, but they only had a, the, the lights were green. I don't want green. The bushes are green. That's why they probably still had so many of those left. But you know what? I'm glad I did get these. All right. So the last two things I got, I was ecstatic about. When I saw them sitting on the bottom shelf, I'm like, oh my God, there's got to be something wrong with them for them to still be sitting there. So let me move this bag out of the way. All right. Um... I'm going to tell you that I paid $6 for the large one and $4 for the smaller one. So I'm going to show them to you and then I'm going to tell you what the real price was. Okay. I love these trees. It's very hard to see probably on camera, but they're sparkly, glittery. Okay, so this was the small one, okay, and this is the big one. So you can kind of, okay, so let me show you both. All right, and I absolutely love them. Love, 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 love them. So, $6 and $4. This, the regular price, holy cow. <laughs> you know I wasn't buying them at regular price. And this one... They're pretty, but they're not that pretty. <laughs> so I snatched those up and there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. I thought for sure one of, you know, the branches were going to be broken off or they were going to be cracked or chipped or something, but they're perfectly fine. So I definitely grabbed those. And now I have sparkles everywhere and I just got done putting everything away and vacuuming. <laughs> Oh, well, it could stay there till the weekend. All right. So that was my Hobby Lobby um, haul. I spent $21.23 altogether. That was with tax and everything. All right. Let me get all this <laughs> snow and sparkles off of me. Holy cow. Okay. Now. Let's go to the Salvation Army for Half Price Wednesday. Alrighty. Um, well, the first thing I grabbed is 
this was just so darn cute. And all of their Christmas stuff was 50% off anyway. So, um, I got this little guy <laughs> for $1.50. He is so cute. Look at him. <laughs> I'm going to throw him in the wash and he'll be good as new. All right, so we got him. Now, uh, if you guys are like me and your crafters, um, you know how much money they will charge you for styrofoam balls, okay? So, I found, well, the package is open and they're all falling out, but they're, whoops, okay, that's just a lost cause. So, I got five of this size, okay, and these are three inch, three inch, okay, 19 cents each, okay, 19 cents each. Then, I got this size, which I believe are five inch. And I got four of these for 29 cents each. You're never, ever in a million years going to beat that price, even at Walmart. I got a good deal today. All right. So let me get all these out of the way here. Okay. And, you know, I just, there wasn't a real real lot today that really interested me um but i did get i saw some cute fall stuff what did i say i got this real pretty leaf dish it's got a little acorn on there let me turn it this way there you go and this is a uh, tabletop gallery fall harvest and this was a uh, regular 250, so I got it for 75 cents. Love it. Right? One dollar yeah. and 25 cents, D. Come on now. Wait, I can't think today. Whatever. You guys do the math. I'm, I'm too tired. I have been doing nothing but undecorating for the last two days. So, anywho, I got that. Then I found this cute, oh, wait a minute, I lied. I got six of these three inch balls for 19 cents each. This one was hiding in the bag, six of them. Um, I got this really cute spoon rest, squash, <laughs> preferably butternut, I am thinking. Um, this was regular 89 cents. So I got it for 45 cents. Okay, um, I don't know if you guys remember when I did my Christmas tour. Up on this back shelf here, I had some beautiful um, Lennox snowmen up there. And um, I also had a Santa I can't remember if he was Lennox or not, but he looked like he was. I don't believe he was. Um, and today I found this gorgeous angel. Look at this. She is absolutely stunning. Her base is gold. I paid regular price for her. I didn't mind. She was $2.19 in perfect, perfect condition. She goes perfect with those other items. So I was definitely taking her home. She's gorgeous. I don't even know what she plays. Wait. Well, 
I definitely wouldn't do well on Name That Tune. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so. Um, and then, what's in here? I forgot what I bought. Oh. Get it out. And then I found these two really cute uh, salt and pepper shakers. They were two for 99 cents. So I actually got two for 50 cents. Adorable. And of course, I had to bring home a piece of milk glass. Um, I got this piece, Hobnail. Um, I love it. It's very different. Only problem is there is a chip right here, if you can see it. Um, but this is for me, and I don't care if there's that little chip. Um, I just loved it. It was just very, very unique, I thought. So, um, I got this for $2. So, love my milk glass. All right. So, that was everything from the Salvation Army. Uh, you know, I, um, <laughs> I just got everything cleaned up and... I got balls everywhere. <laughs> They're behind me. I'm sitting on them. They're rolling. Get in there. Let me put this in here too. Get rid of this paper. Holy cow. All right. So, um, I'm trying to remember what I spent. Uh, it wasn't a whole lot. $9.93. Um, but anyways, um, I'll have to get my receipt so I can let you guys know what I spent. Okay, so, found a, well, I didn't find, I've seen it before. I did do a haul, I showed you the mid-century modern piece that I got at Fuller's Flea Market. So I stopped in there today to see if she had any new items. Um, I did get a few things. I only spent $8, eight bucks. So let me show you what I got. This really needs to be cleaned. It's very, very, very dirty. But I got this beautiful, oh, the lighting in here is terrible. I apologize, guys. Um, this beautiful unicorn with the gold horn. Um, it's got a little flower there. And I, it was probably made in Japan, but there is no sticker on the bottom. So I grabbed that. I thought that was really unique. Grabbed a few Christmas things. And I just realized that this was has a little chip, but it's okay. This was uh, Nor Norcrest, this little Christmas bell. It's got the little chip over there, but that's okay. It's for me, and I can touch those chips up. No problem. Another bell. This is very original. Um... This was made in Taiwan. Look how cute that is. Little Red Riding Hood Bell. There's a little bit of paint loss there. But oh my God, isn't she cute? I love her. <laughs> She is adorable. I think this is my favorite piece right here. 
Uh, what else did I get? Oh, I got a, these um, two. Wait, let me find the other one. It's in here. Somewhere. Okay, now I can't find it. Okay, well, anyways. Oh, no, here it is. I found it. I got these two candle holders, which I thought were really cool with that crackle effect. I love them. And they're for, um, you could do a, a pillar candle or a taper candle in there. So I love those. All right. And then what else did I get? Uh, let me see. I have a lot of uh, tissue paper for next Christmas. <laughs> okay, I got this guy. He's got a lot of paint loss. But he's for me, and I don't care. Very cool Santa. And he's actually... Um, a salt and pepper shaker and he's Japan and he also has a cork stopper in there so he's pretty vintage all right he is very cool love him um, I got this pin I just thought this was beautiful it's like it looks like enamel a dragonfly obviously and um, let me take it see if I could take it off of here because it's hard to see on there there we go um, it doesn't oh wait a minute it does have a name on there but I can't see it without my magnifying glass um, anyways this is what it looks like. Very, very pretty. All right. Um, I'm telling you, I got a lot of tissue paper. Um, then I found um, this Pyrex uh, Spice of Life Creamer. It's in excellent shape. So I grabbed this for resale. Beautiful condition. Then I also found, <laughs> uh, this is also Pyrex. Wow, I really need to get some lighting in here. No, I'm sorry, Pyrex, it's Corning. Uh, the Spring Daisy. This is a sugar bowl, but it doesn't have a lid. But I'm sure, you know, a lot of times people will break the lid and, or they break the bowl and they have no lid. So I'm going to throw this up on my uh, eBay store too. And what else? Another bell. Uh, this one is... Uh, bone china made in Taiwan. I just thought this was the cutest. Look how cute. Look at that little snowman. <laughs> how could you pass that up? Then I got... Oh, okay. So, I bought some of these um, the last time I went to that particular store. And I, they were dirty, so I wanted to clean them. And I put them in some hot, soapy water. Well, the paint started coming off. All the black paint started coming off. So, she had more of them. So, I grabbed them. And um, any of the paint loss that is on them is all, you know, just from age. The little graduation um figurines that I got last time. I got uh, two of the girls and there was one um, one boy left. So I grabbed those. Because I bought the other ones for resale, but how am I going to sell them with 
the paint coming off like that. So, like, how are you supposed to clean those? I mean, if you can't put them in water, you can't just, like, dust them. Anybody out there tell me how to clean vintage um, porcelain figurines so that the paint doesn't come off? Please leave it in the comments section because I really could use the information. Um, all right, look at all this. All right, and then I grab this little uh, item here. This is um, Occupied Japan ashtray. I thought that was really, really pretty. And then I grabbed, I thought this was really pretty. I, I don't know what's with me with leaves today, but I got this really pretty leaf dish. It's got a very pretty painted pattern on there. And um, somebody just put like felt on the bottom. So, I just thought that was beautiful. And the last item that I got from Fuller's, she, she was wrapping my stuff in Christmas wrapping paper. I was laughing. Is this beautiful? This is a ceramic canister. And it was made exclusively for Knott's Berry Farms. I love this canister. Look at how pretty this is. And then it has, that's the top. Isn't that not beautiful? I mean, it's gorgeous. I don't know, you know, what this sells for, but um, I'm definitely going to check it out. Yep. I, this does not look to me like a regular canister. Like, look at the top. It has a, the lid of like a jewelry box or something. You know what I mean? But it is just beautiful. So, I snatched that up. So, all of these items that I just showed you, I paid $8 for. And the only reason I paid 8 was because while I was waiting for her to get change, I found something else for a dollar. <laughs> so, you know, that's what happens when you're standing there waiting and looking around. I just have to learn to just kind of like go like this while I'm waiting. <laughs> So, that is my haul for today, my first 2019 thrift haul for you guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I definitely will be stopping by the um, my church thrift store on Saturday to see um, if they got any new things. Uh, they were closed this past Saturday, which I was fine with because I had to work, so <laughs> I didn't feel bad missing out. So, um, anyways, guys, um, I hope you really enjoyed this haul, and I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers, to all of my new subscribers, and um, if you're not a subscriber yet, please consider subscribing and becoming part of my family. I would love to have you, and I just want to say that um, thumbs up is always good and sharing. So, like, share, and subscribe, please. All right, guys, I'll catch you in my next one. Bye for now.